Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an unusual earthquake for you, not the fact that it was a magnitude 4.6, but USGS upgraded it from originally being a 3.7. This was a very shallow earthquake, only 2.2 kilometers in depth, so that would be about 1.37 miles below sea level and all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Nine people reported feeling this earthquake. It was reportedly felt in Eureka, Concord, San Francisco. How USGS gets the magnitude and the location of the earthquake is by what they call triangulate an earthquake. You need to get three locations in an area of a triangle, each point of the triangle. Well, being out there in the ocean, they don't have monitors to record earthquakes. So that does make it difficult to locate and calculate the magnitude of the earthquake out in the ocean. USGS does not report all the felt earthquakes that is sent into them. So there must have been quite a few more than what they're stating to upgrade it from a 3.7 to a 4.6. Generally, USGS downgrades earthquakes. They don't upgrade them very often. This earthquake occurred at 8.25 a.m. yesterday morning, which would have been Wednesday. And using Google Earth, we can see it occurred along the Mendocino Triple Junction fault line and on the Gorda Plate, which is part of the Juan de Fuca Plate, which is slowly subsiding, going underneath the North American Plate. This is an area, this line along here, where we have the St. Andrea Fault Zone down here coming, coinciding, merging with the uh, Juan de Fuca Plate. This is called a transitional fault zone, where the two plates are moving against each other. Can you see that little area right there, the um, arrow? To the west is called a divergent boundary, where we have spreading. See that? The spreading is what causes the Gordo Plate. The Juan de Fuca Fault Zone has been divided up into several sections. The northern side of the Gordo Plate is a transform boundary, which forms the Blanco Fracture Zone. I am sure there's more people that felt this earthquake. Did you happen to feel this earthquake? If so, please put your comments down below. Back in 1980, there was a magnitude 7.2 earthquake that occurred on November 8th at 2.27 a.m. local time. And everyone knows that this area is past due for a major earthquake. I hope everyone is prepared. Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.